Hello and welcome to another video. I've just picked up another cassette haul which also includes a CD player, not that I needed this, and I've had a quick look at this but I haven't had a look at the rest of it so we're going to do that together. I'm going to try and do this without too much faffing around. Sorry about the noise there. Just need to rearrange the camera a little bit. There we go. So this case is quite nice. It's a Pullman Okay, so it's not specifically for CDs, I think, but hopefully that's the right instructions for the player. It's quite a nice case, though. It's got any pockets on the outside? No. It's got somewhere like a, a through hole for your belt. Now, I seem to remember having one similar to this way back, probably in the 90s, I would guess. So there's the player. We've got some Sony headphones. I don't think I've ever used a used pair of headphones. And I don't think I want to start either. I think plastic is disintegrating. No, it's not. But uh, anyway, a pair of Sony headphones. We have a sticky label on the disc man. Now, they stopped using the word disc man and started using uh, the phrase CD Walkman. Or was it the other way around? I can't remember, to be honest. But I remember this groove... For some reason, back in the day, I didn't like that phrase. Oh, it opens quite wide, doesn't it? I might be able to find a use for this. This isn't the reason why. Oh, look. It has a wired remote with... I wonder if I've got one here. There's one. It's probably not the right one. But it uses this kind of remote. And these extra connections here are for things like selecting fast forward and rewind. Oh, I wonder if that works. This is a mini disc remote though, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I might test that either in another video or off camera. Um, I haven't got a CD handy, but I might get one near the end of the video. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to tease. I might not get one near the end of the video. But if you have a look at the chapters in the description, you'll be able to see um, what exactly I do. Because I put chapters which are like index marks in a book or contents marks in a book. They're in the description box below. As is my Patreon link. So if you want to help me by supporting me with um, a few pounds a month, you can do so through Patreon. That would be great. Thank you. And also you can use Super Thanks from, I think it's one pound or one dollar. Just by clicking the Super, link, the super Thanks button underneath the video. But in any case, make sure you're subscribed because I occasionally get these hauls. Oh wow, I'm going to be listening to that. So I love these cases. I didn't know there was going to be one of these in it. So someone gave this to me for free on a local recycling group. But I'm really not a classical music fan. Now as part of the request for cassettes and stuff, I said to them, that's interesting to put that by. I said to them that I would, I might sell some stuff if I don't need it anymore. Um, but I'll try not to, and I'll get rid of anything which is clearly broken beyond repair. And uh, so they're okay if I sell it. But what I did say was, if I've got cassettes I don't want, I'm going to take them about 20 miles away. There's a charity shop which deals with. Um, uh, records mainly, but vin you know records, CDs, and and they also sell cassettes. So that's an Oxfam shop. So I, anything I can't use, I batch up and I take for them, so it doesn't go to landfill. It's a very weird cassette box, isn't it? Atlantic Records. So someone's typed that and inserted that inside the case. Very weird. If you want to find out about any of these particular cassettes, I won't be keeping the classic stuff, um, then leave a comment and if I see the comment within the space of a couple of weeks, I probably won't have had a chance to take the um, the unwanted cassettes over to the charity shop by then. Oh, that's a shame. Golden Lion Record, Maxell UD, but it's in an EAM, EMI cassette box. That's in pretty good condition, that cassette. 
Golden Lion record. Never heard of that. Never seen that. All right, let's put those to one side. I want to have a look at those. This as well I want to have a look at because I think this had something else on it. So that's a scotch. I used to get scotch cassettes. Oh, there it is. So there's the inlay part for the scotch cassette. I've got some of these, actually. You can pause the video if you want to have a read of that. And uh, so that's a scotch cassette. They've added their own inlay card to it. Well, that's clever. So this is... Ah, so this is a photocopy of the CD uh, box, the CD index card for this. So they must have had a CD. They photocopied the back, folded it up and put it in the cassette box. <laughs> That's one way of doing it, I suppose. I thought you gave me this, has probably got a load of CDs as well. Took a break for a cough there. Probably have to edit that out, or at least the sound of it. Oh, is that supposed to happen like that? Okay, so, good. Beethoven, Chopin, Tchaikovsky and Beethoven. I'll check these. Ooh, that's quite fancy. What's that? Let's have a quick look. There might be classic enthusiasts in the crowd of watchers. Yeah, someone liked the classical stuff, didn't they? Yeah, so I've got a nice little box which will come in handy, I think. I'll move these off off camera for a second. Oops. Now I didn't know what the contents of the cassettes were. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, <clears throat> and I'm not going to make the people look through their collection and uh, report it to me. If they're good enough to give it away, then I'll take it as it is. Wow, that's 70s, isn't it? Christmas. Okay. Soundtrack of a film. I might just run... No, I was going to say I might just run some of these through eBay, but... Oh, really, oh God, that's 70s, isn't it? I hated the 70s. Not that I'm old enough to remember it, of course, but uh, I kind of skipped the 70s and went straight to the 80s. I wonder if that's where they were buying them. But they would have had street crap on them, I would have thought. Maybe not in the 70s. So we've got a blank one. I'm guessing that's a TDK. Oh, it's a bush. Quite a little bush in the 70s, as I recall. Okay, I just took a moment to compose myself there. Right. What the hell? Is that capital years? Oh, this is old time stuff. I might actually give that a listen. There's nothing really I've found that I wanted to listen to yet. What's that? Complete Tom Jones. Oh, I might listen to that. <coughs> that one's... Um, so that is that is um, classical, which I'm not that interested in. So, But I, I like the tape, so I'll keep the tape for sure. So the purpose of the listing was if they've got tapes they want to get rid of, I'll take them to improve my collection and then move them on to other enthusiasts or to the charity shop if I don't want them. Back to Broadway, that white cassette, yeah. So that looks like the sort of thing that someone's like a knockoff you buy at a market. They stuck a label on it. So what have we got here? CD2. So that's weird. So these are Type 2, they're not chrome, but they're Type 2, and that's an unusual one, I don't remember seeing many of those before. So I'll probably keep that, run that through a player and see what, uh, see what condition it's in. 
there's a good one I'll keep that for future recordings what's this Phil Spector's Christmas album another Christmas one shame it's February oh Johnny Mathis I had a few Johnny Mathis tapes up on uh, eBay they didn't sell like a collection of them um, so um, they're ready they're waiting already to go off to the charity shop <clears throat> So, oh, BASF, I think I've got some of these already. Sinatra, I might listen to that. Give that a playthrough. What I typically do is put it in a deck that's got uh, automatic music search. Because there's a lot of tracks I don't like and I can just skip forwards. Now, I'm glad I got one of these. Because I used to own one or two of these somewhere. So like smoked plastic, typical of the, the time they were created. What's that say? Stacco tape. So yeah, they're quite nice. I, I don't think I'll mount it on the wall, but what you do is you put some screws in the wall and the screw heads go through there and it slides down. And then you've got a nice little unit on the wall that you can just pull your tapes out of. So that's quite handy as well. I was, I wished I had one of those the other day. I thought I've got some cassettes on them trying to listen to. I wish they, I could just grab them from the dispenser. So that's going to come in handy. Right, I might have to do an edit here. It might be noisy. Trying to cut down on the edits because they take so long. Mario Lanza. I will probably put that in my cassette deck, play it, and then skip through nearly all of the tracks. Yeah, not sure I'll even bother with that to be honest. Right. Ooh, that was hard to get out. That's a big fat cassette case that's really old I think so we've got a Philips cassette box look at that. Oh, hey, that opens is it an old one or is that some really expensive one how do you get it out you have to tip it out so that doesn't belong in it the beat goes on various artists is there a date on this 19 is it 88 is it Zoom in. 1988, okay. It's interesting. So I'll see if I find a case for that. But I'll probably listen to that in his 80s. Probably give it a listen to. And another soundtrack. They're yeah, looking pretty good condition. More Neil Diamond. That just uh, didn't sell on eBay. I didn't think it would, but. I just wanted, to, I didn't want to throw them in the bin. Oh, that's a, that's a double L one, that one. I didn't want to throw them in the bin. But I didn't want to keep them either, so I tried to sell them on eBay, eBay for some of the other hauls I've done. But they don't really sell. And to be honest, it's a loss-making thing. It's really not worth my time selling them. You know, it's costing me time that I could be working when you're self-employed. Time is the most precious resource. M music to watch girls by. Okay. Hang on one second. There we go. Music to watch girls by. It'd be funny if it was the same handwriting. So that's interesting. That's really good actually, I quite like them. I think it's got the uh, girl from Ipanema on it and that sort of thing. It's quite a good uh, um, Tom Jones one as well. So I'll have a listen to that. Another dispenser, but this one's a bit bent and a bit broken. So what else? We got? Oh, I've got another dispenser. Hang on a second. If this is a cine film, what the heck? No, is this music? Recording tape. No, it's a it's a open reel tape. Wow, what a mess. Okay, I know where I'm going to put that. It's no good for me. I certainly don't want to get into that sort of thing. 
looks very cool though. I love the uh, the artwork on these sort of things of this era. So my guess is this is something in the 60s. Sony Tape 100. So I guess that's 100 feet. That'd be my guess. Not really my thing. Not really my bag, baby. But I know who I'm going to offer that to. Right, so what else have we got? Oh, piano favourites. That's going to be a hit again, I reckon. Uh, sorry, Miss Page. What the? That's Twiggy, I think. But Ronnie Aldrich and his two pianos. He's probably famous. Ooh. TDK D90, ubiquitous. Looks like it might have got greasy or wet or damp or something. At least it's been rewound. Okay. Oh, I've got one of the, one of the other halls I've got has got exactly this TDK and it's uh, with this checkered part on it. So I might. So the one the one I've got didn't have the um, the sticker on it, and I don't think it had a case either. So assuming that's the right case, I might uh, see if I might do a test recording and see if it's any good as a as a cassette. Michael Crawford, and that's going to go in that pile. Nat King Cole, hmm, I might give that a listen. Incredible voice, but. Not really my thing, but I might give it a little, little listen. And the last one in this one. We're nearly at the end now. What is this? An album of favourite TV commercial classic melodies. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, so these are... Oh, I see. So this is classical music that has appeared on TV ads. TV adverts. Interesting, but not something I'm going to listen to. And finally, just these two. I don't know what these are. Pretty broken up. That looks familiar. Ah, Greatest Love uh, 6, which I think I've got Greatest Love. And, um, was it Greatest Love? Another, another one of those in that series, I think. And a night at the opera. Okay, not amazingly interesting to me, most of these, that's broken. But it saves them from being sent to landfill. I don't know whether the charity shop will take all of these. Oh, another one of those, that's quite handy. I wonder if I can clean these up. I might stick them in the dishwasher, see what happens. Um, but yeah, so I suppose the highlights of those is this Maxell UD. Unfortunately, we'd know without the correct box. But I do like the box of the EMI cassette and an unused index card. That's quite nice. Um, so that's just for that might record quite well. But I'm going to give that a listen because I don't know what this Golden Lion record is. Is it Golden Lion record? So I'll go see what's on that anyway. Um, that um, music watch goes by might be the same or different for that. It might be a different volume. Don't say. But it might be a nice listen. And then we've got a few others to listen to. We've got Sinatra. The Essential Ella. I don't think we're going to listen to that, but I will keep the tape. And a Scotch tape, which I'll keep the tape as well. And finally, Nat King Cole. Bush that I might keep the tape. And that uh, I might give that a listen as well. Nearly forgot, I was going to have a look at this uh, CD player, see if it's working. I noticed the screen's got a bit of bleed on it. It's quite hard to get in. Okay, let's press play. I had a CD player, I think it was a Bush one, but it looked very similar to this. There's no CD in it. I wonder if that makes a difference. The Jamiroquai CD. Uh, 
So there's quite a lot of bleed on the LCD. Oh, let's play mode. I'm not even pressing the right button. Okay, I'm useless at this. Look at that. It's working. Let's plug some headphones in it, but I won't be able to play much of it. Well, that seems to work. My amp's up really loud. Okay, I can't keep playing that because I'll get a copyright strike. Now, if you can see, it's not easy to see because it's too reflective. I've got ESP. So they had um, a facility where it would read, they skip quite easily. When you hit them, they skip quite easily. And I haven't got a demo CD to play. So what they used to do was read some of the data into a buffer, and I think that's what ESP means. But it appears to be working. I'll probably find a use for that. But what I want to do is plug in. I don't think this is going to work. So with a mini disc player, God, we're really covering all the formats. This particular one has a screen, but some of them don't. So they used to come with these remote controls, which had the screen on there. And they had this weird connector. So it's a standard 3.5mm jack plug. Uh, whatever that is in old measurements, and um, and then these four extra contacts, contacts which were used to um, control fast forward and forward skip and things like that from the remote. So I doubt this is going to work on here. I'm gonna, can I get down any closer? A little. It's hard to see. Now let's see if I can figure out a way of angling that up. Ah, oh, there we go. That will do. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing on the remote. Ooh. Now, if I do twist that way, normally on these remotes it skips tracks forwards. So let's try that. So that activates the pause button. So that's pause. Pulling it out and moving it up will be volume. What did that say? Oh, so that's menu. So yeah, so one of <laughs> I, I don't know whether I don't know what remotes go with it. I'll tell you what, I can have a look in the manual because we've got the manual. Right, so let's have a look. Does it tell us? Not that I can see. I'll have another have a look in a minute. So you have got the remote, but not this didn't always come with the remote. It says there to use the remote control. So it's a big remote control. I've got one that looks a bit like that, which is a Walkman one. Um, no, I haven't. I can't think now, have I? Yeah, I'll have to have a look in a minute. So I need to do a bit of Googling and find out which remote control works on this. Just a few things I've found on this. That's the... Um, where's it gone now? That's about the resume function. You might have seen that resume uh, button on the player. It has got a line out. So that's quite good. So I reckon this is probably a quite a high end unit. Um, it's got a line out, which I don't need because every system I've got has got a CD player on it. Um, it's That's the remote control, but I can't find anywhere it says what remote control that is. So here are the accessories you can get for this CD player. Car connect and pack, car battery cord, active speaker system. I think I've got one of those. Uh, rechargeable battery, connecting cord, AC power, stereo headphones, sold in Japan only. No mention of the uh, remote control on it, which is weird. But to be honest, why would I take this out and use this as a portable player if I mean we see this here zoom in and then we see this here why would I take that when every, every all, all the music I want to listen to I can use this so uh, I'm surprised that this didn't take off more in America and England compared to you know people using these. 
So there we go. So I don't know whether I'll find a use for this. I might pass it on, I might uh, sell it on if it's worth packaging it up and listing it. I mean, for me, listing it and packaging it probably accounts for about um, an hour. So I could either work for an hour and then what I can ruin for an hour or sit in the garden for an hour or uh, sell one of these. And quite often the amount of money you make after fees is not really cost effective to sell stuff less than about 20 or 25 pounds. Right, so um, not a fantastic video in my eyes, but if you're not interested, you would have skipped it anyway. But it's there for those who are interested. So if you've got this far, thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I did that, you moron. <laughs>